Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Today is heat treat day. So I've managed to get my two sets of tappets made here. Almost. One of these was a botch. Uh, when I was first doing these, I was cutting them off in the bandsaw to try and save material. But uh, the bandsaw needs a new blade on it. After cutting all those steel beams up and it cut crooked, and by the time I straighten this face up, this one's thin compared to the rest of them. So I'm one short, didn't have enough material to make another one. That's all I had out of the stick, so just won't be two sets, but that's fine because I only got one of these sold, so the other one will just be extra. And sometime I'll make another one and I'll have a full set. So, but for now, what we got here is this. Uh, ATP this is 641 it says it's it says it blows the lights out Let's, maybe you can read it there this is water based high temperature protective this is supposed to be able to use this on tool steels uh, rather than having to stainless wrap them and this protects it so we're gonna try it out I've got a piece in the oven cooking right now to be sure there's no oil on it. So you want all this stuff clean. So I've got to burn the cutting oil and stuff off before I put the coating on. So get that out and I'll paint it and then we'll start uh, heating the oven up. I'll do that to test before I rack a bunch of these doing something experimental. All right, last time I'd had some questions about the insert I was using on this. And it is a CNMG 431 MP, which is a medium positive insert. The grade is KC 9245, which uh, not the best choice of grades for this. That's a grade that uh, can take a real heavy beating. It's a really tough insert, not a really long wearing insert. But I typically buy my inserts based off of toughness more so than wear because I usually have more problems with uh, broken inserts and wearing out inserts because I don't do a lot of production work. Everything's usually repair. So usually working on stuff that's got interrupted cuts and messed up holes and things like that. So the tougher inserts better for what I do most of the time. For this application, a uh, different grade insert would be superior for this because it would, it would not lose its edge as fast. But I'm still getting pretty good life out of these. I ran uh, 14 tappets on one edge which was a decent amount of material removal because going from a uh, inch 500 down to three quarters pretty much. So more than half of the diameter reduction. All right, so let's show you what the finish looks like on a decent edge here. We'll take it. Let's give it a go.
there's that as turn finish and uh, it actually looks better in reality than it does on here focus well I guess can't focus on that shiny <laughs> is as good as it's going to get for image quality. Alright, so this is my test victim here. The guy out of the furnace. You can see it's got a nice finish on it. So we'll see if it can retain that after heat treating. All right, so heater's on. The uh, test part's in the oven. I can't get it to focus in there. But up to 1700. The set point's 1900. So once you get to that, I have to sit in there a half hour and then be time to quench it and we'll see how the coating did. So here I got them painted up. Uh, initially tried to dip them, that didn't work. It went on way too thick and it was flaking back off. Uh, take a long time to dry too. So I have uh, gone to painting on with a brush and that seems to work a lot better. So the important thing it says is full coverage. Obviously you gotta keep the oxidation from getting to it. Then the other thing I've learned is that uh, the temperature can only go up on it. If you go up and then come back down, then the coating breaks off. So uh, this is a one-shot deal. Heat it up once and then quench it and this coating's going to be gone. Because it, it is uh, very brittle. You can see where I flaked it off here from where I tried to bake some on earlier not realizing that that was the case so maybe by the time that other piece is done these here will be dried out and ready to go all right the bits have been in there cooking long enough uh time to pull this test piece out and quench it and see how it did see if this stuff's protecting it Well, that ain't too handy. That cooking pan there, not too good for that. That other one I had held up pretty good. That one there, not so much. Well, there it is. It uh, definitely does appear to have protected it from 
decarburization. You still see some of the coating there on the side, so. Get this thing cooled off and scrape it up and see what it looks like. Well, there it is. It's actually fairly clean for coming out of heat treating. Usually these are a lot darker than when they're wrapped in the stainless. I mean, see, it looks like maybe on this one little spot here, it must have had a little crack. Might have got a little air in there. It's got some scale on it. But otherwise, doesn't look too bad. I can probably live with that. We'll give it a go. I've got enough material on the tap. It's uh, if it does uh, get some pit in it, and I can turn it out. So it's funny it turned that uh, cookie pan into dust. That's what uh, what China will get you right there. Quality steel like that. All right, the Easy Bake Oven has finished its job here. So I'm we'll gonna start fishing these out and throw them in the oil and getting them quenched. So I am just gonna throw them in. Hopefully that'll maybe uh, reduce the amount of fire. If they go in quick, maybe it won't light off on top. This is quench oil, so it's not supposed to be super flammable, but uh, this is, hotter than a lot of tool steels heat treat it so maybe that's part of the reason why but nevertheless uh, eventually I like to have a big pail with a flip top but I don't have room for that in here right now so we'll do that in the new barn but uh, I guess we get to it here All right, so the second temper should be complete. So all I gotta do is pull these out and let them cool down and uh, be ready for hard turning and grinding be next. The cookie pan stand 900 a lot better.
Here comes the shop boss. Bailey, do you give your approval? It's good. That was a no. Oh, it's okay. All right. I guess it's bedtime. Well, there they are. They're out and cooling off, so uh, just got home from work and had time to do the two uh, tempers on these. So tomorrow night when I get home, I'll be able to start doing the hard turning on them and getting them ground up and getting these finished. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll catch y'all later. I appreciate you, all of you.